multi-information display is a stunning 4.2 inch screen situated between the optotron meters helping the driver control some of the fortuner's key functions while maintaining a clear line of sight off the road. When you switch on the Fortuner, the MID lights up with an impressive animation of the three-line icon designed just for the new Fortuner. Before we start with the home screen of the MID, let's take a quick look at the controls. Conveniently located at the right side of the steering, the controls can be easily operated with the right thumb. It has a four-way keypad with a center OK button and a back button below which is a switch setting button which I will explain at a later point in this video. The home screen of the MID display is packed with information without seeming cluttered. It can be divided into four distinct sections. The top section shows you the ambient temperature and what gear you are currently in. Below that are five tabs which house a majority of the features of the MID. We'll discuss this in a later section. The main display shows you a variety of information from music to fuel economy and even alerts you of incoming calls and GPS directions. Lastly, at the bottom, we have a well-designed odometer. Let's dive a little deeper into these four sections and see how to use them properly. The gear indicator is a great way of knowing what gear you're in without moving your eyes away from the road. This is very useful especially when using the paddle shifters. The tab display area has five icons which help you shift to the relevant info you are looking for. The five tabs are the drive information tab, the navigation tab, the audio tab, the warning message tab and finally the settings tab. Let's talk a bit about the drive information display. This has a vast amount of data which helps you understand your driving style and your car better. There are five key screens in this section. There's Drive Info 1 and Drive Info 2 which you can customize. There's the Eco Drive Indicator Zone Display. There's the Eco Score you have. And finally, there's the Eco Savings. Let me quickly tell you what each one of these do. The Drive Information Display can be customized and shows you information such as the current fuel economy, the average fuel economy, average speed, elapsed time, and even the distance. So let's break these down a bit. When you look at drive information 1 and 2, each one of these displays can be customized to show you very specific stats for you to understand the performance of your car. Starting with the current fuel economy, this displays the current rate of fuel consumption. The representation can be in two formats. You can either have a bar type representation or a value type representation. The average fuel economy. You have three options here in terms of how you want to display this statistic. You can calculate the average fuel economy since when the function was last reset, since when the engine has been started, and since when even the vehicle was refueled last. Depending on how you want to measure the mileage, you can pick one of these three options. Average speed. Again, for average speed, you can display the average vehicle speed since the function was reset or since the engine was started. For elapsed time, it's also very similar. This tracks the time elapsed since the car was last started or since when you last reset it. This can display two key stats. One, range. The estimated maximum distance that can be driven with the quantity of fuel remaining. And two, the distance driven after when the engine was started. The Eco Indicator display calculates how economically you're driving and gives you a rating based on that. The Eco Score. This displays the Eco Driving total count to help improve the driver's Eco Driving techniques. The Eco Score is based on three driving parameters start, cruise, and stop. The higher the score, the more economical the driver. Eco Savings. This screen displays three key statistics. Number one, the fuel consumption comparison. The second is the average fuel consumption after reset. And the third is the savings or the cost of the consumed fuel. 
Number two, the navigation display. This helps the driver set up navigation in the MID, which gives turn-by-turn -turn route guidance and also has a conveniently located compass display. The third tab is the audio tab. The user can select the audio source using the steering mounted controls. They can choose the audio source between AM, FM, disc, USB, auxin, and even Bluetooth. Warning messages. This tab displays warning messages and measures to be taken if a malfunction is detected. And lastly, we come to the settings tab. This tab allows the user to set up the MID based on his or her preferences. The first option you have for the MID is language. As of now, the only language option is English. Units. Here the user can select the unit of measurement of fuel comparison between kilometers per liter or liters per 100 kilometers. The eco indicator settings. The user can choose to activate and deactivate the eco driving indicator light which shows up on the Optitron combi meter. Switch settings. This setting allows you to set any screen as a favorite that you can call up at the touch of a button. The user can register one screen as their favorite screen by holding down the switch settings button on the steering control for about 2 to 3 seconds. Once it's set, the user can recall this screen at any time from any menu just by pressing the switch setting button. Drive Info 1 and 2 There are two info slots on Drive 1 and two info slots on Drive 2 which can be set with custom info. There are five key sets of information that you can mix and match and set on any of the four slots. As we discussed earlier, you've got your current fuel economy, average fuel economy, average speed, elapsed time, and distance. You've seen these categories earlier, and you know the options under each one. Based on the user's requirement, each info slot can be assigned one of these. If the user does not want to use all four slots, there is an option to leave a slot blank. The next setting is pop-up displays. Pop-up display shows alerts from two sources, one from the navigation system and two from the phone when it's connected via Bluetooth. Color. The user can change the accent colors on the screen, such as the cursor color to either blue, green, orange, or yellow. Eco savings. For the eco saving mode to function effectively, the user has to enter some key data. First, the user must enter the target mileage. That's the mileage that you are hoping to get when you drive this car. This helps the system calculate whether you are reaching that goal and making any savings or not. Secondly, the user needs to set fuel prices and then set the local currency. Three simple steps which help the system calculate how economical the user's driving really is. Lastly, we have the initialized display which lets the user reset any change or customized settings back to factory default settings and values. That's about it for the multi-information display. It's a great feature in the new Fortuner. Hope you get to demo it to customers and it helps you sell more.